Knock this in. 31 pickup right here. Smart, smart. Don't think about our offense. Guard for me, all right? Here we go. One, two, three. Inside Notre Dame basketball with Mike Bray is brought to you by Team Notre Dame members Adidas, Gatorade, McDonald's, Coca-Cola, Sprint, and Xerox. Inside Notre Dame basketball is also sponsored by Bank of America, Xfinity from Comcast, Mazda, Meyer, Notre Dame Federal Credit Union, Sirius XM Satellite Radio, and UPS. Welcome, Irish fans, to this week's edition of Inside Notre Dame Basketball with Mike Bray. I'm Jack Nolan, joined as always by the head coach of the Fighting Irish. And, Coach, this hasn't happened a whole lot during your 13 years here, but we have an 0 and 2 week. You started off 2 and 0 in the Big East, hit a couple of bumps in the road. We've tried to avoid those 0 and 2 weeks, but we're sitting in the middle of one. Connecticut came into our place and really played well. They seem to play well, and they've snapped a number of our streaks. And then a tough one on the road at St. John's. So we're in true bounce back mode in the Big East right now. Coach is absolutely right. Notre Dame home court winning streaks in the UConn Huskies are not a good mix. When we come back, we'll show you how a still talented UConn team ended Notre Dame's 17 game winning streak at Purcell Pavilion. The world was recently shocked to discover a primitive society. They may not appear so different, but these people are still using outdated satellite TV. They've never lived in a world with Xfinity On Demand. Never known what it's like to catch up on the latest shows anytime, on any device, and they have no idea what they're missing out on. Wait, wait, are they signaling us? Nope, just adjusting their dishes. <laughs> they do that a lot. Don't settle for outdated satellite. Xfinity, the future of awesome. Well, I have been quietly standing in the shade all of my days. And I've been trying to find unlimited phone, unlimited data, unlimited life. The Galaxy S3 Unlimited Edition with truly unlimited data from Sprint. He is suffering from flu-like symptoms. We had to help him into the locker room. It may be a believer. Not in luck or faith. You can see how exhausted Michael Jordan is. But in will to win. You win from the game. Classic performance by Michael Jordan. So I'm really going to need your shot for Can I just change that for you? Window or aisle? Uh, right. Yes, sir? Can I help you? Yeah. It's, 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 the restroom? Oh, it's right behind you. If you just turn right there. <laughs> Virgin America knows it's better for Xerox to manage their call centers so they can focus on making flying cool again. With Xerox, you're ready for real business. Now, Coach, your team didn't play that poorly, especially at the start against UConn. You looked like you were going to take control of the game, but you couldn't take advantage of that good start. No, we couldn't, Jack. We did get off to a great start, and we were driving the basketball, getting to the, getting to the hole, different guys getting in there. So you felt you had some momentum getting started, uh, but it certainly didn't play that way over 40 minutes, and Connecticut's guards were really good. Their front line was good, and Tyler Olander had a great game against us as well. Nice drive, and dish right there. Here we are early in the game getting into the paint, getting to the basket. That's an amazing find by Jaron Grant to Jack Cooley to kind of turn and find him in the air. Still driving the basketball. You know, Eric Atkins, now Scott Martin off a little dribble exchange. Good strong move to the hole and a foul there. You know, you like how you started. You like the tempo that's set here. You're going to the gut. They really defended us on the arc. So we're getting there and getting easy buckets. So Certainly a good start for us. Some ball reversal here in our movement. Pat Connaughton now gets into the act. And we've said this year that's one thing he is really doing better, driving the basketball. That's become something that he does well. Inside out, something we do well. Cam with a nice post feed. I don't know if he meant to bank that one, but we'll certainly take it. 
but it was a nice post feed and a relocation right there. Us in our little bit of our 2-3 zone, we come up with a turnover. Here we are in transition. Skip passes are always good. Scott Martin with a nice little shot fake. Eric keeping the ball alive and Jack Cooley on a finish. And again, you love your rhythm right here. You really kind of love, love the rhythm you're playing in. Big defensive rebound by Scott Martin. We get out a little bit here in early offense. And, you know, this guy here has been so steady. Watch how he just kind of keeps probing, keeps probing till he finds an open shooter. Pat Connaughton with a big three-point shot on the baseline, but all set up by Eric Atkins. Boat right with a drive. It's a little short. Jack Cooley with a big defensive rebound. Ball reversal here. We get a ball screen. We get a double ball screen. Here in the second half, you know, we start the second half even in a good rhythm, you know, against a good team. I love our read right here on that out of bounds. Jaron and Eric just make eye contact and we lob over the top in our out of bounds under situation. Eric Atkins with a big three point shot. But really the story, Jack, was Napier and Boatwright. The UConn guards really controlled the game and played fabulously for them. Of course, Boatwright with the dunk put him up by four. Then Napier came back after you scored, put him up by four again. And they really held the lead the rest of the game. They really did. They had control of the game. Eric with a nice drive. We're trying. We're scratching. We get this thing back to a, you know, one possession game. Another good drive and ball screen by Jaron. We're keeping fighting, but we're a little tight. It's the first time in our building in a long time, well, it's the last time we played Connecticut, where we got tight at home. Nice feed here. We're still giving ourselves a chance, trying to keep some game pressure on them. You know, movement here. We're down five. Big three-point shot by Eric Atkins. He has hit clutch, clutch shots for us uh, at times to give us a shot. Here we are down two. You know, probing, probing. We got a chance to tie it. You feel maybe you're going to escape and steal it. But Connecticut really made the plays, and they deserve to win the game. Uh, and, and a tough one for us. We don't lose much in our building, but certainly the Huskies have played well against us at home. And there's a look at the final stats. UConn shot 58% in the second half. And you talked about the big three in the game, the guards, Napier, Team high, game high 19, boat right at 14, and you mentioned Tyler Olander. He was 8 of 9 from the floor for 16 points. They deserve to win the game. They, they outplayed us. They deserve to win. Olander was fabulous in the second half with his post-up stuff. Disappointing to lose at home. We don't do that much, but that's Big East play now. How do you go from there? When we come back, we'll hear what the Irish players had to say about UConn's win that snapped Notre Dame's 12-game winning streak. Tremendous. <laughs> Tremendous. Tremendous. Say hello to McDonald's new Tremendous. CBO. Smooth cheddar, crispy bacon, grilled onions on the Angus Third Pounder or premium chicken sandwiches. CBO. The simple joy of Tremendous. Yeah. Only Mazda is so obsessed with the future of driving that it's revolutionizing everything. Sky Active Technology makes vehicles stronger with two top safety picks and more fuel efficient, like the 40 MPG Highway Mazda 3 and the 2013 Mazda CX-5. No compromises. We build Mazdas. What do you drive? The Mazda 3 is now available with attractive lease and finance offers, but only for a limited time. So, so. At Meyer, folks are surprised at the brands they find at such low prices, like Sarah, who recently discovered the joy of cooking in her own place, or the Andersons, who are taking their recent health kick to a new level, or Maria, whose passion for baking has outgrown her hand mixer, and Tom, whose technology advisor just convinced him to upgrade. With so many great brands at low Meyer prices, everyone can save on the things they want. Experience the savings, experience the difference. Meyer.
As you saw in our last segment, Notre Dame played well enough to take a two-point lead into the locker room at halftime against UConn and probably should have had an even bigger lead. But the Huskies played inspired basketball in the second half, taking the lead for good with 13 minutes left and holding off the Irish down the stretch. For some reason, we've always come out strong, and we just didn't have it in the second half. We just didn't play well, and I mean, it was it was weird to see shots really weren't falling. I mean, if we hit we hit two more, three more shots, maybe we, I mean, we win this game. It's, that's how games go. They really pounded us, pounded us in the post, and I think that's where we we were really hurt at. Losing one of the Big East is, is not a surprise. Um, you know, there's a lot of really good teams. The whole starting five last year, we went through a lot worse than this. So uh, we kind of got to take that mentality, but we just kind of got to go at it hungrier than we obviously did today. You know, they played great against us. You know, they today they hit a bunch of shots. You know, they every time we need to stop, I feel like they knock down a big shot or get a big rebound. So I mean, they just come to play. No question, Coach, your team should have played better, but Jaron's right. you got to give UConn credit. That was a good performance. Yeah, they, they, uh, they're confident in our building, and their guard set the tone. Uh, we, I love how we scratched and clawed and tried to figure out a way to steal it, but uh, they deserve to win it. And I think our guys had a good frame of mind, and we got to get back to work and see if we can regroup. And Big East basketball is about how you handle the tough stuff. You know, your building's a little like their building in stores. Yeah. It is. It, it is. There's a, there's a comfort zone in our building, and I think it's sometimes I think our fans and our players were quite at, quite shocked that uh, when we lose in our place. But uh, they have always played well here. And you've played well in their building, but we don't get to go there this year. The Irish have been very good at bouncing back from losses in recent years, and they had a chance to do just that when they took on St. John's at Madison Square Garden. The highlights are coming up next. For whatever reason, the Garden has not been kind to you during the regular season in recent years, but on this night against St. John's, you again got off to a great start. You took a six-point lead, but you also kind of knew the lead should have been even bigger. Yeah, I think we left some stuff on the table in the first half and, and on the road, but you better get everything you can get uh, to try and escape with a road win. But again, I you know, I think we again we're driving the ball. They really chased us off the three-point line. They fronted Jack. And we're taking what the defense gives us, getting in the, into the lane, finishing around the basket. Here's another driving situation. We kick out, we get ball reversal, and after ball reversal, we get a great look. We're driving to get two-point shots, and we'll take what the defense gives us. Nice find right there. Jaron back to Scott, little shot fake. We probe, great reversal, and here we come down to baseline. Pat Connaughton continues to do this for us, and it really, really does help us. But post feed over the top because they were full fronting Jack. He does a great job of coming back into the play and getting his hands on that one right there. We're in zone right here and they kind of miscommunicate. We're coming down the floor again. You love the start. You love how you got out of the gate, especially on the road, especially in the garden. We're still in zone, we get a deflection. And then Eric with a nice drive. Again, their thing was to keep us off the arc. We only took th eight three point shots and we only made one of them, which kind of hurts our you know flow offensively. Still taking layups, good read there. We're still in our zone right here. Nice pick by Eric Atkins, and he's off to the races in transition and gets down the floor. He gets his hands on a lot of stuff. He, he just played fabulously for us up there. He gave us a chance. Some of the driving shots that he's hit this year, out of bounds with a low shot clock. We run something for Cam, and he knocks down a big shot right there. Jackson foul trouble. Tom Knight comes off and really does give us some good energy. We're struggling right here, and he makes a strong move and a finish, you know, for a potential three-point play. Eric Atkins with a drive and a find to Tom Knight. Loved in the midst of a loss, Tom Knight's energy and bouncing around in the lane. I think it's something we've discovered that's going to help us moving forward. Second half. They take away the jump shot. We swing it. Pat on a nice drive. Again, we're still able to drive the ball because they are really going to take away three-point shots. Their ball pressure is really extreme. Nice hard post feed there. Jack finishes it. We're still in zone. Harrison with a miss. We come up with the rebound, and we're off in a little bit of an early offense transition situation. Really good probe. 
kick to Pat Connaughton. There is the one three point shot we made. We probably need a few more for us to really be flowing offensively. Another good drive and find Tom Knight, his energy and his ability to finish strong. Jaron with a good read here off the ball screen and finishes uh, into the lane right here. We come up with a loose ball. Scramble for it, scramble. How about Tom Knight's block shot? That's something he gives us, Jack, when he plays. He blocked four shots in 17 minutes. That's something that we really like. Transition here, Jaron with the layup. You know, we tie it, we are battling. We were down 12, I love how we're battling. Here we are to take the lead. Great drive by Jaron to take the lead, but D'Angelo Harrison's three over the top of our zone is really a backbreaker. He was quiet most of the game but we couldn't absorb that one, and St. John's really earned the win uh, down the stretch. There is a look at the final stats. Notre Dame, the leading three-point shooting team in the conference, as you mentioned, one make, eight misses. Hard to get it done on the road. If there were positives, again, I thought in the second half, when you came back from 12, it was a great sequence. You could get it. And Tom Knight's a positive because it's hard to describe unless you were in the building to see the lift he gave you. 17 minutes, six points, three rebounds, and four block shots. Big energy from him. And I think moving forward, we have to incorporate him more. And it's funny, that's what we did last year, and he gave us a great lift. This week's Ask Coach Bray question in the inside Notre Dame basketball fast break are coming up right after this timeout. I love seeing you at Bank of America. But we know you want to be able to bank wherever you are. Bank of America Mobile Banking lets you bank on your schedule. Now you can securely deposit checks you get right away with your smartphone camera. Watch this. It doesn't get more convenient than that. See? Success. It's amazing. Check balances, pay bills. And much, much more. Right here. Bank on your schedule and deposit checks on the go. Download the Bank of America Mobile Banking app today. I need to get back to work. Three, two, one. It's hard to call it radio when it's this out of the box. Listen to that. <laughs> Man, you know just what to say. You might be a redneck. Yeah. Fox News alert on several dramatic new developments. Frank Sinatra. You're a delightful audience. Let's go to Margaritaville. To the 10, to the 5. Touchdown. This is satellite radio. Welcome to Sirius XM. It's time now for this week's Ask Coach Bray question presented by CBTS. This week's question comes from Mike Magrino of Robbinsville, New Jersey. Mike asks, Coach, can you tell me the differences between the Big East Conference and the ACC? Well, Mike, we're going to eat a heck of a lot more barbecue when we're in the <laughs> ACC. But uh, two things come to mind. Number one, the ACC, is it a little more skilled a league? Do they play a little bit more how we play? would come to mind. The other thing is it's going to be tougher to win on the road in the ACC because everything is an on-campus arena. Irish fans, if you would like to ask Coach Bray a question, all you have to do is log on to UND.com and click on Ask Coach Bray. Senior forward Tom Knight's outstanding performance against St. John's earned him a turn in this week's Inside Notre Dame Basketball Fast Break Hot Seat. First car you ever drove. 1994 Crown Victoria. What did you do on your first date? Uh, I think I went to a movie. Do you have a celebrity crush? Yeah, it would be uh, Jessica Alba. Movies or music? Movies. What's your favorite movie? Inception. Best part of your game? My mid-range jump shot. Favorite part of practice? The end of it. Worst part of practice? The start of it. Toughest Notre Dame player to guard? Austin Burgett. Best defender on the team? Garrick Sherman. Best leaper on the team? Me. Best dunker on the team? Again, me. Best dresser on the team? Garrick Sherman. Best singer on the team? Austin Burgett. Best comedian on the team? Alex Dragovich, oh wait, no, just kidding, me. Free throw contest, who wins, you or Coach Bray? Me. Tom Knight has a very subtle down east Maine sense of humor. Great sense of humor, 
senior, very secure with who he is. And Jack, with his performance against St. John's, we need to build on that. It's really helping our team right now. And these are the kinds of stories we probably don't talk about enough in college basketball. He's a star in high school. He wouldn't be here without it. Hasn't gotten to play as much as he has hoped, but he's always maintained his attitude. He's always ready, and he's probably going to help you down the stretch. Well, he's a great story because, you know, he's not playing much up until the other night. Yet never complaining, great attitude, doing extra cardio work because he's not getting game minutes to be ready for when he's called upon. He's called upon and he delivers, and he, I have a feeling he's going to keep delivering in our rotation. And he's going to have a couple more chances coming up real quick. We're going to take a look at another challenging week for the Irish right after this timeout. Bob, these projections, they're optimistic. Productivity up, cost down, time to market reduced. Those are good things. Upstairs, they will see fantasy. Not fantasy, logistics. UPS came in. Analyzes supply chain, inventory systems. UPS. UPS. Not fantasy. Who would have thought? I did. We did, Bob. We did. Got it. I'm very happy I made the switch. It's easy. They're great. As I go out, being nervous about going out into the world. You switch because... For what you get and what, what they give back. Of the people. It just be another thing that I know is there for me all the time. It's a no-brainer. It's about family. It's about values. It's about doing things the right way. And that's why I'm sticking with it. You just get sucked in. And it's great. We're there. Notre Dame Federal Credit Union. Come home. You know you're going to get the best when you go to Notre Dame Federal Credit Union. Games come quickly in the Big East, and the Irish have a chance to bounce back with their second Saturday-Monday game combo of the Big East Conference season, beginning with a Saturday night game with Rutgers. Well, when you're in the situation we're in on a two-game losing streak, you, you just want a one-game win streak in league play. As a matter of fact, one-game win streaks in the Big East are something to really hang your hat on. So can we get back and get to 3-2, and two, and then you turn around and play a heck of a Georgetown team that really guards you? The last Saturday-Monday, we went 2-0, and oh, you know, ha handling the Saturday Saturday Mondays will be pivotal on how we finish in this league. And it seems to me over the years, most of your Saturday Mondays have been one game at home, one game on the road. Isn't it an advantage that you're not traveling? No, I love that we're home. You know, given that we're up against it here a little bit, uh, to come back home, uh, let's start another home streak. But you can't think past Saturday when you've lost two in a row. You're just trying to get another W in league play. Let the smoke clear and then prepare for Monday. We're a few weeks into conference play. Is the league again proving it's a 15-team league this year that everybody can beat everybody? Here's a great stat. The other day, we and I think still today, we have 14 teams in the top 100 of the RPI. We're going to get at eight NSA tournament bids again, and we're all going to and we're just trying to scratch and claw to get one of those. But uh, I think the league and the the depth of the league is still as good as ever. Only league with that kind of RPI rating. So only only one. Only without one. Without a question, folks. So that will do it for this week's edition of Inside Notre Dame Basketball with Coach Bray. We, of course, will have all the highlights of the Rutgers and Georgetown games on next week's show. Until then, thanks so much for watching, and as always, go Irish. Inside Notre Dame Basketball with Mike Bray has been brought to you by Team Notre Dame members Adidas, Gatorade, McDonald's, Coca-Cola, Sprint, and Xerox. Inside Notre Dame Basketball is also sponsored by Bank of America, Xfinity from Comcast, Mazda, Meyer, Notre Dame Federal Credit Union, Sirius XM Satellite Radio, and UPS.